Hey Dreamweavers, it's me Keisha here at Enchanted Dreamcatcher and welcome back to my channel and a another video. If you're new here and you've stumbled across my part of the YouTube universe, welcome and I hope you enjoy the content that I put out. I post twice a week on a Wednesday and a Friday and I mainly post about witchcraft, uh, law of attraction, positivity, uh, with a little bit of beauty and life thrown in for good measure. So without further ado, we are going to get into this video. Hi Dreamweavers, it's me Keisha at the, here at the Enchanted Dreamcatcher and welcome back to a, another video. I am back doing a, another one of these seasonal types of videos. Uh, you know, people tend to do the like what I got for what I got for Christmas. Uh, I do what I got for my birthday as well as my birthday is right near Christmas and I always tend to do a... Um, what I got in the sales as well as I love going sale shopping like on Boxing Day and yeah so I picked up some really lovely things this year so I thought I'd share them with you. I had some birthday money from my nan to use which I used and I had a gift card from my uncle that I used as well obviously some of my own money and yeah so I thought I would show you. So I have a whole jumble here on the floor. I try to organise it into piles to show you. So I'm just going to reach down and try and grab some stuff. And my chair is annoying me again. But I'm not moving my camera so we'll just go with it. Okay, so where do we want to start? We want to start with what I got. Oh, my creaky bed. <laughs> what I got from the work. And those of you that have uh, been part of my channel for a while, I will know that every so often I do like works, witchy books, haul, um, witchy book hauls that I get from the works. And for those of you in America that don't know what the works is, it is a um, sort of a discount bookstore. So yeah, so I popped in there as I love it in there. And yeah, so I will show you what I got. First of all, I got this mask as you know covid face covering um probably not picking up very well but it was just three pounds it's an adult one um it's white with butterflies on so i thought it's cute so i grabbed that and then the rest i got in there were books and this one was one i had on um my saver late on amazon so i was really pleased to have seen it in there and for so this book is the Little Book of Tarot by Z Zana Eve Chowen. I probably butchered that, but it was only two pounds in the work. So if you are looking for a little tarot book, something cheap, then I would definitely recommend it. Um, it is just basically what I like is that I find obviously you can get you get tarot books that are more in depth and stuff, which is awesome. But if you're wanting something simple to just sort of pick up and flick through when you need that's this is definitely the one so it has um just has basically very brief um summaries so like the aces it has eight ace of cups your cup overflows in upright position it's love optimism fresh start reversed it's emotional instability stagnation ego the ace of swords ace of pentacles same sort of thing and then each card as well so it has uh so I, for example i've just flicked onto page onto card two which is the high priestess and it has a woman holds a sacred scroll and wears a sacred headdress the moon is at her feet she sits between two pillars 
uh, Jakan and Bo as named after those at King Solomon's temple. This is the gateway to the tarot and represents duality, for example, negative, positive, dark and light. Meanings, this card is a mystery, wisdom and spiritual growth. It appears we need to use intuition rather than logic to find answer to your problems. Reverse, this card suggests painful secrets, gossip or people talking behind your back. It can also hint at irrational behavior and lack of self-belief. Then it also has like, and then it has so it has a sort of slightly more in-depth summary and then it has a very sort of brief at a glance so upright has wisdom intuition sacred mysteries reverse superficiality ignoring your intuition harmful secrets so eat so it's just sort of like that so it's a really sort of just a handy little tarot book just to pick up as and when you need and then this one as well i had on my a for later in my Amazon basket. Um, it's by Sarah Bartlett, the little book of moon magic. It's currently four pounds in the works and it's, oh, it's so cute. I love the colors and the moons and stars and gold. And it's just said, the little book of moon magic will show you how to maximize uh, potent lunar energy at the most auspicious times to make your life what you truly want it to be. From wishing on the new moon and manifesting success to knowing when to attract romance, this guide reveals how to go with the flow of the moon to bring the happiness you seek. And then it says about your learn to <coughs> track and utilize astrological and lunar cycles for self improvement, work with moon goddess rituals for positive empowerment, as well as discover how your moon sign determines your moods, comfort zones, emotional needs, and so much more. So it's just a nice little just a nice uh can't see you probably can't see because of the light but yeah it's just a nice little book to flick through as different uh rituals and spells uh there also there's all different about all the different moon phases and stuff as well so yeah so i'm really looking forward to doing looking at that and i'll definitely do <coughs> i need to do some book reviews i'm over overdue doing book reviews as i have bought a lot of books lately so I will look out for that on my channel soon. Um, I also got Tales of the Night Sky, Revealing Mythologies and Folklore Behind Constellations by Robin Carewood. This one was five pounds in the works. It just really, it's a lovely hardback cover and it just has all about um, the history of astrology and at different um, constellations, which is really cool like draco dragon and um, taurus like virgo sun new moon um Uranus, mars neptune um or little bear all different types of constellations so it's really cool just to sort of um learn a bit more about that and then the final book i got in the works which was five pounds is the crystal directory 100 crystals for positive manifestation by sarah bartlett so this one is a comprehensive source book of 100 essential crystals for positive manifestation is packed with practical advice and fascinating information about each stone. You will find out about each crystal's attributes, holistic benefits and specific powers so that you can fully realize your potential. So it looks, it's a nice hardback as well. I love hardbacks and I just love I just really love the vibe with all the um, beautiful crystals. Um, so it has a brief about um, beginning bit about what are crystals and sort of crystal usage. Then it has about dedicating your crystals, programming your crystals for manifestation, and there's sort of a ritual to do. And then it has a bit about what manifestation is, and then about goals and time. And it has some about crystal grids. And how to work. And then it has a section on how to work with the crystal source book, and about choosing your crystals. And then you get into so this it has different sections. So this one, for example, is crystal crystals for abundance and good fortune. So it has about aquamarine. So it has about appearance and the color, like sort of current availability, physiological correspondence, and um, psychological correspondence associated crystals by color and keywords that has about the crystal like legendary uses attributes and powers and it has a little bit about how to use and it literally just goes through like that and there's just so many different crystals there's different sections for like korea love and also at the back as well it has a glossary and it has a further reading which i think is really cool 
you probably can't see that but so it has a further reading sort of books and websites recommend if you want to learn more about crystals and stuff so i really liked this one okay so that was everything i got from the works next i shall go to what i got in boots so uh, boots always do their three for two on their gifts and then obviously as soon as Christmas is over so they're just being three for two they're all half price so I got from the brand Skinny Dip London I got this sort of like melamine type reusable cup um, and it's got a sleeve on it so it's a cute like takeaway cup instead of £14 it was seven and it's just sort of like a gal uh, galaxy sort of colours like with the pinks and purples and it's just really nice so i thought it'd be handy like on my um journey to work in the morning and stuff like making myself a tea or hot chocolate in this and drinking it on the way to work then also by skinny dip london i got this it's the same sort of colors i got this like um credit card little card slot wallet it was four pounds instead of eight pounds so there's room for three there's two card slots and then sort of like a bigger like pouch at the top so I'm not too sure exactly what I use this for but I just loved it I'll probably use it when I go um like when things are a bit more normal and we're sort of going out for e meals and evenings and stuff or when I next get a chance to go away and I've taken like a little bag with me and I can just sort of slot my like ID and my bank card in here and like some notes at the top so that's probably what i use that for uh this is from a revolution makeup brand it's just so pretty you're not gonna be able to see it the light is just killing it but it is a really pretty shimmer block um it's called visionary and it's really pretty i think it's actually a palette i thought it was a it's an eyeshadow palette. I thought it was a um um <laughs> that's funny. I thought that this was a um like a highlighter and I was like, oh my god, it's stunning, but it's actually an eyeshadow palette. It's so awkward and I'm not too sure if I like the colours. Well it's sort of more neutral, I like neutral browns and stuff. There's nine colours in there. So <laughs> I didn't look properly at that one. <laughs> I just managed to find found a little book in the works as well. Um, not in the works, sorry, in Boots. And this was reduced from eight pounds to four pounds. It's Mindfulness for Every Day by Yvette. Something the label's covering it up. Uh, by Yvette Jane. And it's just a really cute. Um, this really cute sort of like mindfulness tips and stuff and it's got a ribbon marker and it's just something you can dip in and out of and it's a cute little hardback so I keep that by my bed and try and read one a day. Skinny Dip London again and that same sort of colourway is just a little pouch oh it's five pounds instead of ten pounds so I thought I could put oracle cards in there or crystals or essential oils or even makeup I haven't really decided but I will do something with it. From the brand Makeup Obsession, this was the last one. It's a pack of three just squeezy lip glosses. Um, it was two pounds fifty instead of five pounds, and it's sort of like a ready color, pinky color, and a sort of clear shimmery color. So I thought it'd be handy as I am a lip gloss junkie for sure. And then the last thing I got in there um, by Fern Cotton, her Happy Place brand it's a stay inspired inspiration block so the wooden block and there's 52 cards to stand on there that um have all about different different ways to sort of kick start your day and things and it's sort of like mindfulness and all sorts of inspirational things and the cards are actually made from 90 percent recycled newspaper which is cool so i will definitely make a space for that and work on that every day um, so that's everything from Boots, from, I went to Home Sense as well, mm, I grabbed, you probably can't see it, I grabbed these scented sachet 
Um, sent us sachets by a brand called Knox and Willow. They're only two ninety nine. It's a pack of three. And these ones are pink, rose, and quartz. And you can sort of use them like in your gym bag, put them like in your drawers, in your room, anywhere you want to smell nice. They smell really good. So got those. I also got this pack. So if you can see, it's clear pack. Um, it's brand is um, by Spa Solutions. It's called Tame the Main. It's a shower cap and hair turban. It was seven ninety nine. So this is what I'm going to sling it into my gym bag if I want to wash my hair at the gym. I got the towel, or for when I not when I'm showering but not washing my hair, I can use the sort of um, shower cap to protect my hair. So I thought that was pretty cool. I got uh, this to do pad how well can you see it i don't know how well you can see it what do you think it is a it's got a, a moon on it. yeah so it's got moon phases on it at the bottom it's just a little to-do list pad and it has a little pen and yeah so i thought that was really cute and then I think that was like 2.99 or something. Then also in Home Sense, this was 5.99 by Lady Jane Limited Company. It's a guided journal with prompted theme interiors, and it's a morning and night reflections, and it's moon phases, which I really love, and I just love the design inside. It's just so pretty. Um, so this journal belongs to. So it's like AM um, affirmations. I can't see it. I think the light is distorting that. AM, PM affirmation, um, PM reflections. So sort of things like for the, what were the good things that happened today? What didn't go well? Was it within your control? If so, how can you do better tomorrow? How about today? What were you grateful for? And then that sort of chart. Those are for morning habits. List four to eight good day habits and track how many days you keep it up. And it's got example like me on my bed, went to the gym, drank water, and then the other side, evening habits, and then you do the same, but in the evenings, so for example, it's like read a book, cook dinner, cleaned. And then it just, that's just sort of how you go through, and then it has good morning, what is your biggest goal today, and there's like a few sp um, lines to write that, and then how can you achieve it, and then good evening, did you meet your goal, if so great job, how do you feel, if not, how can you succeed tomorrow? And then there's sort of uh, write or uh, or draw your thought uh, write or draw your first thoughts waking up, and then the same for when you go to sleep. And yeah, it's just a really cute, cute guided journal, which I really need to use as I buy so much stuff like this. As I love it, and I will. It's definitely going to be on my things to do, like my intentions for 2021. So another thing for that I got was you know that I love a, a good planner and I um um I have I bought a planner for like next year. I mean I have one for my handbag but I like to have one like at home like my more sort of detailed full on planner that I plan everything in. And I sort of have like a, I got a mid year one because of what with like the way everything's been this year it's been quite hard to try and find planners so this one i just happened to see it was 4.99 and it's just a cute i just really liked it um it's just got really pretty designs inside and it has a diary bit with the uh with the months of the year um and has sort of has your grid layout and has special events the dresses I'll probably won't use that bit and then a note section at the back so I thought I'm gonna use probably use that as my planner uh, and the last thing that I got in home center which was really cool was this magical tarot scratch and reveal 78 original art tarot cards by Ma Manthre Othre is M A R E N T H E space O T T E N. So it's three ninety nine. You get a little scratch pencil. Um, it's like a little stylus to scratch away the dark coating and reveals the enchanting and beautiful tarot cards underneath. Each card is perforated so your deck is ready to use. 
Use this magical deck like any other to perfect your life as you gain insights, inspirations, hopes and answers and guidance and reassurance as you navigate the twists and turns of life. So yeah, I got it for $3.99. It looked really cool, so I can't wait to use that. And then new look. I was at the till and around the till and no I didn't see it anywhere else in the store. It was $4.99, so I just grabbed it. I was like, oh, I'll have this. It is set of a hundred palm reading card. Discover the future of discover your future in the palm of your hands. Yes, yeah, so it was $4.99 and I was like, oh, don't even know who's by it's it's got a brand gift republic so it just looks really cool so yeah it just has all about the different lines in your palm and a little bit about it and i just yeah i just thought oh wow that's really awesome found something witchy and new look but lately i've been loving their tops and stuff have been like amazing so I grabbed this one. It wasn't on sale or anything. It was $19.99. It's a sweatshirt, but I absolutely love, love the moon design. I think it's stunning. And so it says, celestial nights beyond the moon and beneath the stars. And it's just, it's beautiful. It's my vibe. And it's just literally just everything. And I was just like, oh, I love it. Then... I also got some shoes. I know it's winter now, but they were reduced to seven pounds. I think they were like 20 originally. They're soft and um, they're like a baby blue with a laser sort of cut out design. I thought that they would be really cute for spring, summer, or if I hopefully get a chance to go away next year, I thought they would be really cute to take away. And the other thing I got for New Look was a cardigan. It was reduced to five pounds. Um, it's just a soft, baby pink cardigan again obviously i won't be wearing that right now but that will be good in the next sort of few months as the weather starts to warm up again and i just wanted something a little something to cover up so that's everything in uh new look and then finally i went to matalan and i got a couple of bits in there this really soft hooded top was reduced from 10 to seven pounds it's like really really soft and it's uh, something that i'll wear probably just like wear like to the gym or if it's just popping out this sweater was reduced to from 14 to seven pounds you probably can't tell too well the color is on camera but it is a mint green and it's fluffy and soft and oh that's gonna be amazing when i wear that i got some leggings these were eight pounds fifty and they're just like a sort of a leopardy print just to look sort of casual just wear them with whatever i don't know <laughs> um i got another pair that these were supposed to be an eight pound fifty but they're actually on sale for five pounds i don't even know they're sort of like a bigger sort of um like leopardy print but the style is slightly different to the other pair and then the last top i bought in there was from the farmer their farmer heritage brand it was reduced from 12 pounds 50 to six pounds and i love their farmer stuff because it's sort of like got that sort of like boho country vibe which i live for and it's just like a really nice ripped material and it's sort of got that netting meshy netting floral design like at the back and it's just a long sleeve top so that was cute and then my final 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 thing from there was these sort of like obviously fake like ugg style boots i think they were six pounds instead of ten and they're just really um just really cool soft i love the brown color and i love sort of like ugg style boots so i'll definitely be wearing those a lot especially at the moment with the weather being cold and stuff just keep my feet nice and cozy and warm so yeah that's like literally everything i got um sale shopping wise i feel like this year i got really lucky and i found some really good bits and bobs that i plan on reading and using and wearing and also i'd love to know if you have done any post holiday season shopping like whether that's 
venturing out to a store or online or I just would love to know what sort of things you managed to pick up and also please tell me what you got for Christmas I just find it always find it really exciting and I love to know what people have gifted other people and also what you got other people and what they thought and stuff so I love stuff like that but yeah so until next time keep dreaming and stay enchanted mm -hmm.